What's up YouTube? Today I thought I'd do a video on my Enfield rifle, model 1917. And this thing has been heavily sporterized. It's got a new stock on it. It's got a Pine Ridge scope on it with the caps missing. <laughs> uh, it also has a new front sight and it's been tapped for the scope. I don't like that they had to drill into the receiver here. That makes me really sad. I was thinking about taking it off, but um, you know the, the hole would still be there, so I kind of decided not to. Now I can get over that sporterized if they had the original stock come with it. Um, I think sporterizing an old surplus rifle is kind of cool because you bring new life into that rifle, but you also kill a piece of history. My beef with it is that they altered the firearm by mounting a scope here. By drilling into the receiver, you, you're kind of damaging it in my opinion. But I will say the stock does feel very comfortable. It's a lot of fun to shoot. Uh, if I had to say a beef, I don't really like how much spring tension it has to lock it into battery. You really have to fight that spring to get it in. And if you have your support hand up here, that's not so bad, but I like to shoot where I grab it from the stock like this. And doing that is kind of hard. You kind of move around a little bit. Uh, once you get used to it, you can as you can see, get used to it, and it doesn't move that bad, but I really prefer a Mauser. Uh, to take it apart, there's a piece back here that you pull out, and the bolt comes right out. The safety is located on the right side. You push all the way forward for fire, pull all the way back for safe, and it also locks the bolt prohibits it from shooting. Now I did put this bipod on myself. Um, I figured, you know, if I'm gonna use this for a hunting rifle, I should have this bipod on it. Now this thing doesn't have the most tight groups at 100 yards. Right on the left of the bullseye. Right to the right of the bullseye. I am not entirely sure on that one. I think, oh yeah, you're just to the left of it. Right on top. You're in the black, just on the top right corner. Right to the right.
Now I've talked to a lot of people who own these things and some of them even had to rechamber them because the barrels were shot out. So I don't know why you'd go with this rifle for a hunting rifle when you have Mausers everywhere. All in all, I really do love this rifle. I think it's a beautiful rifle. The accuracy isn't the greatest, so I probably won't use it as a hunting rifle, but it's still a lot of fun to shoot. It's expensive. Now I got this rifle about four years ago, I think, and the guy was wanting a single shot 223, and he sold it to me for about 200 bucks, I believe. And I thought for the price, it was a steal, and I think it's a beautiful rifle. All in all, this rifle does feel really good. The cheek rest, if you're right-handed, <laughs> feels fantastic. Um, it just, it feels like an all round comfortable gun to shoot. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please stay tuned. There's gonna be a lot of cool stuff coming up in the future.